coming to the stage is somebody I've had the pleasure of working with many, many times over. Absolutely hilarious guy. Uh, you're going to love him. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome John Ballard. Yeah. That's right. Sit back and relax. Drink some of those tasty beverages. You guys drinking? Yeah. All right. I don't want to be a buzzkill. If you're drinking, don't drive. If you want to drink and drive, you do what everyone else does, and you buy a boat. <laughs> you know, the whole drinking thing, I don't really drink as much as I should. I just put that on the shelf. But I do miss it. I do miss drinking, because drinking gave you that liquid courage. You could do things. Like, for instance, you could drink a lot, and you could see a beautiful woman, and you could go up to her, and you could say something like, You know what? You're beautiful, and I'd like to take you home and make love to you. Now when I do it, I say something like that, my wife says, you're home. And we just had sex <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> drinking now just is, uh, I wouldn't even know what to do if I were to drink again. It, it's, it's dangerous now. They've got weird drinks like Jaeger bombs with Red Bull and, and Jaegermeister and energy drinks and vodka, all this stuff. They call me crazy, but the last thing I want to be when I'm passed out drunk is awake. <laughs> so much beer to choose from now. They've got like MGD 63, Budweiser, like what, what is it, 55? Apparently these are the calories. In the, is this what's on guys' minds right now when they go and order a beer? Yeah, I'll take a beer. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many calories you got in that? 63. I'll just take a water. No lemon. I don't even know what calories really do. I do know the more calories, the tastier something is. You go to a restaurant, you see the calorie marker. This double nacho bacon cheeseburger has 5,000 calories. Wow, that looks good. Went to Ruby Tuesdays the other day, and uh, what exactly does a Ruby's, Ruby Tuesdays manager do? Other than, you know, the denim shirt and the goatee, that's cool and everything. But what do they really do other than pop out at your table, making everybody awkward in the middle of your meal? Hey folks, how is everything? I was like, well, my steak is a little overcooked, and I ordered french fries, not a baked potato. That's not good. And he turns to my wife, how was yours? Oh, mine was fine. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know, Ted Williams never batted 500. <laughs> and the resolution process blows my mind. At the end of the dinner, he comes up, he's like, hey guys, I comped your drinks. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. The Pepsi was fucking delicious. <laughs> I don't mind paying that. And then he brings me the bag with the little doggy bag. So not only do I have to pay for this shit, you're gonna make me take it home? <laughs> with french fries, which you put in, which I don't understand what happens to the french fries on the ride home in these styrofoam things. It's like you take it, you open it up, and it's like these french fries are in a Turkish bathhouse or something. They're all soggy. Is there a rainforest in this fucking thing? Can't eat those fries. Just stuff that was on my head five minutes ago. My wife doesn't really like going out with me much. She says I embarrass her. Like when we go to the grocery store and we're checking out, I pay in cash, and when that lady brings out that counterfeit marker, I'm like this. <sighs> Speaking of that marker, how come we don't get one of those? When they give us change, how do we know they're not screwing us? MVP my ass. <laughs> she also gets annoyed at home, because I, like I like to answer telemarketers calls. I like to have conversations with them. <laughs> to me, it's a lot of fun, because when you've been married 12 years, nobody calls you. <laughs> and I like messing with these guys, because most of them are Indian, and bless their hearts, they're really sweet and everything. But they don't understand sarcasm, because really, sarcasm to Indian people is like courage to the French. <laughs> they just can't figure it out. There was 
one call and he's like, yes, can I talk to Jonathan Ballard, please? <laughs> yes, Sam. Uh, Jonathan, do you mind if I call you Jonathan? Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ballard. No, 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 no. No, I don't want you to call me out of here. <laughs> what do you want me to call you? Snake eyes. <laughs> Get it. Okay, snake eyes, I've got to tell you about this credit. Let me tell you about credit protection. No snake eyes. If somebody steals your, any of your, your social security numbers or your credit card, we will find them and beat them up. Does that sound good, snake eyes? I'm, dude, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, goodness. That is a good joke. This is good. I don't hear jokes like this. So anyway, Snake Eyes, do you want to buy? <laughs> saw the news the other day, this, uh, this lottery winner, $200 million, this guy won. And when they asked him, what are you going to do with the money? He was like, I'm going to buy a car, and with the rest of it, I think I'm going to invest. Invest? You're going to invest? The whole point of investing is to get $200 million. What's wrong with these people? Jesus Christ. Another people, you know those Somali pirates? What the fuck is wrong with them? Last year, these guys got $100 million from taking hostages. They were paid $100 million. I am convinced they have no idea how much $100 million is. You can buy Somalia for $100 million. Not only can you buy Somalia, you can have a sizable down payment on Ethiopia. That's how much $100 million is. You see, buy a new boat, too. Have you seen these boats? They look like refrigerators in the water. I don't even think they know what jail is. Have you seen them when they get caught? The Navy pulls up, and they're like this. <laughs> Except for the leader, he's a 12-year-old with an AK-47. <laughs> he knows what's up. And I saw the picture of this. I see this kid with the AK-47. I look at the picture on my refrigerator. I'm like, holy shit, I sponsor this kid. <laughs> this kid oh, took... <laughs> I took my 75 cents a day and went on a pirate escapade. I don't know about Somalia, but America, that's a dick move. Guys, my name is John Ballard. Thank you very much.